Hello, fellow plant people. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you are new, my name is Jen. I go by the Leafy Geek here, also on Instagram. And mm, this girl hurt her neck and I'm currently pretty bummed out because I had some some excellent gardening plans this weekend that are going to have to be on hold. So I'm pretty sad about that. I'm doing okay. <laughs> Just in a little bit of pain. It is what it is. Um, dampening the blow a little bit though. I got some boxes in the mail today. So I thought I would share those with you. I've been doing a lot of unboxing videos recently it seems like. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm gonna save the best for last, I think. Um, so I'm gonna set that aside real quick. But I, so I do have a box from Gabriella, Gabriella Plants. I have a box from Steve's Leaves. Um, looks like it suffered a little bit in the mail. We'll see what the interior looks like there. And then I have a box from Jaya's Jungle on Instagram. She did a plant purge recently. Um, a lot of really cool Hoya species up for grabs. And I was fortunate enough to be able to acquire one from her. So I'm excited. This all got here today in one go. So let's get started with the unboxing. I'm gonna start with Gabri Gabriella Plants. I keep wanting to say Gabriella Plants. I know it's Gabriella, pretty sure. We're just gonna get right into the box here. And to tell you a little bit about what happened to me. I have this thing called occipital neuralgia, which is a fancy term for pain in the back of your head. It's usually due, for me, I really do think it's posture related. Um, I work from home, I sit at a computer all day, and things can go way wrong if you're in the wrong position for too long in front of a computer. And so I think that's really a big part of what's happened to me. This is not the first time this has happened. But what happens is that you aggravate a muscle in your neck, which then in turn aggravates a nerve that runs along the back of your neck and into the back of your head. And it just feels like that entire pathway is on fire um, due to that irritated muscle. So my little nerve is just firing away over here and now I can't edge out my flower bed. So I'm pretty sad. All right, so one plant from Gabriella and her plants. I also do have a handy dandy plastic bin here just in case there's any soil. Big pet peeve of mine is getting soil all over the carpet. I don't know, what are you doing? Hound Dog is off camera here and she had stuck her nose all the way into the tip of this packaged plant. And I don't think that's a good plan, dude. Are you helping? You're off camera. Nobody can see you. Why don't you say hi? Can you speak? <coughs> yes! Okay, that's enough. Shh. <laughs> Thank you. Good speaking. Okay. Ah, neat. It's a thin-leaved variety, or it feels pretty thin. I don't know if that's just due to male, or if that's just kind of the nature of the plant. But this is Philodendron Wendimbe. So just a really nice little foliage plant. It's got kind of a bushy growth habit, I think. Kind of been into philodendrons lately. <sighs> been into a lot of things lately plant related all right that looks pretty good it's in good condition it's a good sized plant for you know what it was cool it's very juvenile I don't know really what these look like when they are mature but philodendron wendimbe from Gabriella plants next up is Steve's leaves uh oh. I think I have four plants in here, and it was two separate orders. Can you leave that? I don't want to have to turn my neck. It's 
so there should be four in here, two separate orders, but I think they shipped them together, which is really nice of them. Thank you, Steve's. Steve staff. All right. Plant number one. Nothing looks too crazy in here. There's just a dented box, but it seems to have avoided, most of the plants seem to have avoided the carnage. What are you? Cute! All cute. Hound Dog is doing her cursory inspection over here. Neat! So I got Vanilla Planifolia. This is the Vanilla Orchid or the Vanilla Vine. And Steve's had the green as well as the variegated version. I think it's like a green and yellow variegation. I opted for the green. A, it was cheaper. <laughs> and B, I just, I really am kind of on a green foliage plant kick lately. Um, I don't know why. I mean, variegation is very cool, don't get me wrong, but I really just love the look of this. It's very thick leaves. It's very clean looking. It's pretty. Vanilla. Vanilla planifolia. Alright, next plant from Steve's leaves. Cute! So I already have one of these, but I decided it's kind of time for me to maybe consider picking up another one, and they had them available. Um, the one that I do have is not doing so great, and I do think it is my fault because I opted to put that plant outside for the summer, thinking that it would appreciate the more humid conditions, but what I didn't take into account was how much sun it was getting. Um, well, it's, it's not indirect sun, but so I should say how much light it's getting, more so than it used to. Um, hang on, this is a struggle bus right here. So that one, it's, it's alive. It's just, I don't know how it's going to feel about coming back in. I don't know how it's going to feel about a lot of things. So I opted, because I do love the plant so much, I thought that maybe I should kind of start over. <laughs> or acquire a second one because I really do think they're beautiful. This is, uh, it's known as the mandarin plant. It's also known as the fire flash plant. This one is in the chlorophytum or spider plant family. And well, I guess genus, chlorophytum is a genus. Um, and it's chlorophytum philopendulum uh, subspecies is like amaniance or amiensa. I have trouble with this one. I'll put it on the screen. So really pretty orange petioles. They turn pretty bright orange as it grows. I love it. I love this plant. I really do. I hope I do better with this one or treat this one better. I'm still working on the other one. I have it kind of in a place out on my patio where it seems to be a little bit happier than it was. There's new growth on it and the new growth looks great. It looks nice and vibrant green um, and it's not sunburning. So Here's to learning. <laughs> Halfway through Steve's leaves, here we go. Number three. I forgot that I had ordered a couple of Peperomia. So this one is one that I have not seen before. And it's in an okay shape as far as Peperomia goes. Peperomia, I feel like, struggle with shipping quite a bit. This one looks okay. Kind of, you know, the new growth at the around the bottom doesn't look super awesome, but give it the right conditions and it might be okay. This is Peperomia velutina. And the velutina I think comes in just like a regular green, but this variety is called bicolor because it does have some silver striations striping 
on the leaves, which is pretty cool. And the leaves feel somewhere kind of crossed between like a, um, what's the one that feels like cardboard? I'm blanking on my Peperomia names right now. I have one. I'm putting the name on the screen. I think I have one like right up there. I can't turn around to look at it. <laughs> So somewhere between like that feeling, like that more rigid cardboard texture and that succulent feeling that you'll find with like Peperomia or Orba, like the Pixie Peperomia kind of, or you know, any other really varieties of Peperomia. So kind of that succulent, but also that firm kind of rigidity, which is kind of cool. And the stalks. I mean, it just, it looks like a, pe a peperomia. <laughs> Let's not get too involved. <laughs> Pretty. I like how it's going to add depth onto my main peperomia station because I've kind of got a lot of green and a lot of like yellow green variegation going on on that table and so I feel like this will be a nice little interesting added texture and add some depth into that mix. Peperomia Velutina Bicolor. Running out of room, running out of room, hey! One more from Steve's. This is the one that was really close to the big dented corner of the box so we'll see also very heavy. What are you? Oh boy! Holy cats! This is a monster! Oh my gosh! Steve's! <laughs> I cannot believe how large this plant is. It's just, it's weighty. Wow. So I'm going to show you as soon as I get the plastic wrap off. I think you can kind of see it, but wow. Look at this. Barely any leaf loss on it. Dang. So this is Peperomia quadrangularis. This is the beetle Peperomia. Look at that. It, oh, come on. I'm trying to get the, um, the paper towel out. They soak paper towel and kind of pack the roots with it, which I like. I'm just trying to get it out without dislodging any roots or disrupting the plant too much, but holy moly, look at this. It almost, it reminds me a lot of my Dyskidia ovata, which I also got from Steve's Leaves, but Peperomia. Can see it's blooming and it's packed in there wow this is really cool and these leaves also have that um, that kind of rigid texture peperomia putiolata was that a former name of the one that has like the really cardboard feeling leaves I think that might have been an old name <laughs> sorry I'm just remembering but it also has that kind of rigid leaf structure it feels the leaves feel very firm to the touch very rigid um, not unlike a Dyskidia ovata which is what I had originally compared it to but this is beautiful I am really happy about this one I mean all of them are in really good shape it looks like but this is really pretty I'm excited to have this one and to hang it. I love, I'm really into like the trailing Peperomia right now. I have a few um, that I hang up and you know, like the Scandons and a few that kind of vine out and hang. I'm really into those right now. Um, just vining plants in general, I'm really into right now. Uh, but this is beautiful. Thank you, Steve's Leaves. It's a great order. And I'm really thankful that you were considerate enough to and generous enough to package them all together two separate orders so thank you very much this is great this is beautiful beautiful stuff
Yay! Ouch. Ouch. Guys, I have one more. And this is the fun one. This is, it's all been fun. I'm all, I'm feeling a lot better than I was earlier today based on all of this awesomeness that I have received in the mail. So there's that at least, right? So this uh, plant, I, again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I had um, participated in um, Almi's plant purge. This, uh, her Instagram handle is Jaya's Jungle. And I am super excited because this was a Hoya. I hadn't heard of this species before. And I was just kind of, you know, obviously a, a lot of the Hoya went really quickly. People, people claimed them really fast. Um, oh, this is cute. Cute packaging too. Well, bright lights. There we go. So just a little thank you sticker. It's wrapped up really nicely. Oh, nice. And she had packaged around the leaves, too. Cute. Okay, this is great. So it's a small, it's a small Hoya cutting. I believe it is rooted doing this off camera that's really helpful for you isn't it so look at this little guy this is oh gosh am I gonna butcher the name I'm gonna butcher the name holy cow cute look at this little guy so this is Hoya Blasherniziae? <sighs> Hang on. So this, I was not, I was not far off. This is Hoya uh, Blasherniziae subspecies CREA. Yay! And this is found on the Luzon Island of um, the Philippines. And it was originally classified as um, Hoya Ciariae was the original name. And then it was later determined to be a subspecies of Hoya Blasernasii. So that is what she is. So thank you so much to Jaya's Jungle for shipping me this really intriguing, interesting species of Hoya that I had not heard of before and am excited to add to my collection. I'm really quite pleased. It's a good little, it's a good little cutting. I see some roots in there. It is rooted. Yes, yes. Two leaves on it and I see roots on the stem. So I am quite optimistic that this is going to be an active grower at some point. I'm just going to let it acclimate to my, to my house and eventually stick it where the rest of my Hoyas are super duper happy. So that is the plan. Guys, this is a, it's a good little unboxing. It's a good little Friday. <laughs> this has been a nice little interlude and it has made me feel incredibly better about things in general. Um, I know I'm going to spend the weekend resting up and healing and dreaming about my flower bed that I am planning in my yard. I'm also going to enjoy kind of nursing these new plant acquisitions um, kind of back to a non-traumatized shipping state and we'll get them acclimated into their new um, their new homes so thank you guys for joining me on this little unboxing journey and until next time enjoy your plants